Team Cuts by Trader Barber. Work. Work. Once you got your kids strapped in, you want to decide what kind of haircut you want to go with. So today, we're going to keep it really simple. I know at home, you guys don't have the tools that I have, might not have the guards that I have. Do a basic cut. First, I need you to oil your clippers. You don't want it to yank hair out of your kid's scalp. It's going to hurt. And that's going to suck. So we're starting with the number two guard. Right here is where I'm going to create my guideline. Don't want to push it too high up. You always want to cut against the hair growth. This is also known as cutting against the grain. This is the guideline I created with my number two guard. Always keep the clipper flat against his head. You never want to stab. These can make you bleed if you're not paying attention. Parents, I advise you to hold the top of his head just to have some control if he's going to be moving or He's going to be fidgeting, that way if he moves, you're ready, you can pull away and you can redirect his head. Whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. This is called a tapered comb. I'm going to show you how to do the clipper over comb technique. This technique is going to help you blend short hair to long hair. Here I'm going to begin to wet the hair just so it's easier for me to shape it up. When you're doing the clipper over comb technique, you want to make sure the comb is flat against your kid's head. And the hair that's coming out of the comb is what we're going to shave off. By using the clipper over comb technique, I've noticed I'm able to get through the cut a lot faster as opposed to using every guard that I have. Don't worry, if you don't have that comb at home, I'm going to show you how to blend the other side of the hair using only clippers. This feature is called the lever. It allows you to cut longer or shorter. Let's move that lever up to the middle section of this little area. Let's continue to raise this guideline by using the flicking motion. Now let's go in with the open two. Like I said before, you want to stay flat against his head. Here, I'm attaching my three guard. We're going to close the lever and continue to raise that original guideline. As you start raising the guideline, you want to start flicking outward, which is going to create a better transition in the fade. We're now I'm going to continue with the cut with the lever midway open. Fully open three guard. Here, I'm attaching my foreguard and I'm going to close the lever and continue to raise the guideline. And the transition of the fade is starting to stand out a little more. Quarantine cuts by Trader Barber. Now to the good stuff. I'm creating a bald guideline to start my taper. When I start my fade, I usually use the flicking technique to achieve the perfect blend. I'm going to start my fade with no guard on my clipper, with the lever all the way closed. As you can see, I am barely touching the original guideline. Now I am sliding the lever just halfway to begin my next part of the blend. And finally, I am opening my lever all the way and raising that guideline once again. You will repeat these steps with every guard that you use. Now this is my half guard. This is what I call the polisher. I use this guard to polish out my fades. Notice, I'm using the corner of the blade to raise my guidelines. Now 
Now I am attaching my one guard, beginning the next phase of my fade. Dropping my lever fully open to start polishing the fade. Now it is time for touch up work. I'm using my Andis T outliner to go back in and take away any hard lines. I now begin to create my guideline for the taper on the back of the neck. Work. 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 I take my clipper with no guard and close the lever. Now I begin to raise the original guideline. With my lever fully open, I continue to raise my next guideline. I clip on my half guard, close the lever fully, I go back in and continue to raise my guideline. With my lever fully open, I continue to raise my guideline. One guard, fully closed, I continue to raise my guideline using the flicking motion. I'm also starting to blend in a U shape. Notice how I'm tilting the clipper on the sides of the neck. It's okay if there's dark spots on the blend. You can save that for later when you go back in for touch up work. I clip on my one and a half guard and with the lever fully closed, I begin to polish out the fade. I'm noticing the darker spots in the corners of the neck and on the very bottom where my original guideline was set. I am going to begin doing touch-up work. Here I am using the corner of the blade to flick out any dark spots that I might notice. When edging up the neck, you want to stay as natural as possible. K 
careful when edging over the ear. If not careful, it is possible you can clip his ear and make him bleed. Now I'm going to shape up his arc just a little bit, staying natural with his hairline. Now remember, whatever you do to one side, you must do to the other. We've decided to stay natural on the front of his hairline, so I'm going to lift the bangs and I'm going to lightly edge the box of his shape up. I hope you guys learned something watching this video. This is a very simple cut that even you could do. Quarantine cuts by Trader Barber. Let's go. Quarantine cuts by Trader Barber.